I hate this job. I hate this job and I don't need it. Check it out. We call this show Working Radio because if you got a problem at the office, we got a problem at the office. Bad bosses, horrific coworkers, endless meetings, benefits questions, or perhaps your issue is you don't got a job. Good news. My name is Larry Olson and we're here to provide some occupational assistance. This is the J-O-B. Oh, and remember, next Friday is Hawaiian Shirt Day. So, you know, if you want to, go ahead and uh, wear a Hawaiian shirt and jeans. Kevin Cope is president and CEO of Acumen Learning. Also, the brains behind Austin Cycle Shop, which we'll learn about in his book, See the Big Picture, Business Acumen to Build Your Credibility, Career, and Company. Hello there, Kevin. Hello, thanks for having me on. So you essentially argue in these fine pages of your book that everyone at Austin's Cycle Shop should understand the big picture of the business. But why not can't the person in the stock room just be a really good at their job, same as the secretary, everybody just be good at their jobs, and then you'd assume the product would be good? Well, <laughs> great question, and I, I think there's two reasons why that might be useful. One is that uh, I found that especially this younger generation that's coming in really have a desire to be engaged in the bur- in the business. They really uh, want to have a purpose for why they're doing what they're doing. Uh, I love the idea that people work hard for a paycheck, harder for a person, and hardest for a purpose. So one reason why I think everybody, whether they're stockroom or secretary, ought to know this, is it links them to the overall purpose and big picture of the business. Then two, um, companies need employees making better decisions, no matter where they are. Because every employee has an impact on the business, whether it's the efficiency and what they do, the money they spend on even small items. So that's the second reason why they need to have that big picture view. So you're saying we're not just cogs in the wheel, Kevin? We are not just cogs in the wheel. So you do a great job. You talk about main five things that uh, uh, sort of detail of how the key drivers of how a business work. You talk about cash, profit, assets, growth. And people. So let's just stick on the people thing. We'll get to the other stuff second. You talked yeah. about what Google does well in treating its people, which is what I'm assuming you're talking about when you talk about people as part of this big idea. What does Google do other than provide frozen yogurt machines? Yeah. <laughs> they do everything they can to get the, the common worries of day to day out of their way so that they can focus on the job at hand. So one is they make the job extremely engaging and the work they do is just really cool. And two, uh, they do everything they can to take care of the employee, benefits, health, dental, things like that, so they can focus on the job. The number one reason why good employees leave a company is? Uh, Their manager. Uh, Yeah, it it says uh, first break all the rules, uh, Marcus Buckingham's book in the Gallup organization, and it's that relationship with the boss that would be the number one reason a person will leave their job if they do. And the last thing I want to get off when we talk about people in, in part of your key drivers is the, the idea that you come up with is that employees are the internal customers. I love that. Yeah. Um, you know, oftentimes we think, boy, I, I can treat my coworkers, you know, uh, not so well, and I can not do a great job in serving other departments just as long as I'm doing okay by the end customer. I think Sam Walton had a way of saying it. Treat your employees want you, like you want them to treat your best customer. If you treat employees poorly and expect them to treat the customer well, it's not going to happen. So you need to model it inside the organization. The book is Seeing the Big Picture, Business Acumen to Build Your Credibility, Career, and Company. Kevin Cope joining us on the JOB. So as I mentioned, you got these key drivers, cash, profit, assets, growth, and people. I'm just a radio, dumb radio guy, but I kind of feel like I know what cash, profit, and assets, and growth are. But, you know, do, do, do we really just need to break it down so the average employee knows how these work? First three business drivers of cash, profit, and assets really relate to the three financial statements that all companies put together, statement of cash flows, P&L, and balance sheet. Growth is what investors expect, and you make it happen through people in the center. So that gives you kind of the overall view of, uh, of the uh, five drivers. And it may be helpful to know that these are very interdependent in nature. Part of business acumen is knowing that if you're going to focus on profit, 
uh, you might uh, sacrifice growth opportunities. You might also impact your people. So you really need to recognize their interdependent in nature. And so your employees just constantly need to know the state of the business and where you're at so they can be part of that process? I was with a, a, a company in California last week and talking with an individual in HR, and she says, I get why recruiting is important. That's what I do. I have no idea how it impacts our bottom line. Hmm. So here's the challenge. She might make a decision to really delay the hiring of a person because she's got things on her plate not recognizing that the position is for a salesperson. So while she's trying to do her job well, if she doesn't see how her job interrelates to the overall business, she might make poor decisions for the company. Before I let you go, Kevin, you spend uh, the second part of the book talking about or demystifying the financial statements. Why is that important that the average employee would know to be a part of the system? Well, you know, the average employee, you know, before too long, oftentimes becomes a manager of other employees. And then they have some impact on the, the results in the profit and loss statement. So one is, if you want to be credible with your peers, your boss, um, and you want to move up in an organization, you need to have a sense of how the company performs financially. Finance is the language of business. If you want to be promotable, be credible, understand that language of business. Kevin Cope. President CEO, Acumen Learning. The book is Seeing the Big Picture, Business Acumen to Build Your Credibility, Career, and Company, and the fictional company that I mentioned at the beginning, Austin Cycle Shop. But you are not near Austin, right? I'm uh, not near Austin. My son is named Austin, so that's ah, where the name came from. Yeah. I thought perhaps that might be the case. Kevin, this book is great. We really appreciate you taking time with us. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for having me on. Put a fork on us. The J-O-B radio show is done. Find us on the web at workingradio.com. Larry Olson saying so long from the Karen E. Gray Studios in San Francisco. Remember, ski Kansas. Goodbye. Goodbye.